So, I actually I wasn't planning on doing this, but then I realized that in the 10, 15, 20, 25x uh, progressive chance event, they are increasing the rates of a specific epic champion, specifically uh, Delaja. And if you aren't aware, Delaja is one of the fusion champions that you need for Makage who also happens to be the very last champion that I need in order to finally fuse Makage. So, I figured why not go ahead, throw some shards at this event, this progressive chance event, because, you know, usually the, the chances of getting the epic are a lot more so in our favor. I think then it is to go ahead and get legendaries you know the the, the mercy is is just not there because i think you need like 200 shards before you start hitting mercy on uh ancients yeah 200 and then you get plus five per shard after 200 in case i don't pull anything but i figured let's go ahead and, and knock this out let's start off by making sure that we are in english 2 that is the preferred place that i like to hang out now um just because the other places are just weird and tickle does rsl has been hanging been hanging out there and uh he's another raid shadow legends content creator so big shout out to him let's pull this remnant summon of course we're not gonna get anything we're gonna get this blood soap dude doesn't mean anything to us now let's just start off with our 10 pops how are you guys doing happy friday hopefully all of you guys are having a good one. I hope you guys are having the day that you deserve. And of course, we're going to have a nice little sea of blue here. My name is Brito. In the event that you don't know who I am, which is quite likely because I'm not that big. Uh, actually, I wouldn't even say that I'm big yet. Okay, now we have a 25x popping off because we summoned a few epics. So pretty soon here, it's warming up. The next few epics that we get, we're probably going to end up pulling... Delaja, the very last one that we need. And I'm like, should I should I pull Mikage right now? I don't like really need her immediately. So I don't think I I uh who's that? Who's Ingen Twist staff? Is that a new champion? That's this guy's new. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 15% chance to place decrease defense. That's the big uh, small version, small version. AoE fills turn meter, each leaf, uh leaf leech aoe and then before attacking increases accuracy also places a leech increase x so a debuffer type champion and then if you have the uh the blessing for this specific, uh, specific champion you could actually get some good use out of him yeah let's keep going though well, yeah uh mr brito that's who i am in case you're new here and uh yeah so i, I there there she is <laughs> guys mm. Mm -hmm. right there look at this all lit up now all i gotta do is max this champion out and um damn like i i'm gonna have makage i'm not gonna fuse her yet because i don't think there's an event to to summon like a champion chase no there's not so there's no real good reason to pull her right now just for the mere fact that I, I don't immediately need her. I'm probably going to put her in my Hydra team and also put her in my, um, what do you call it, uh, Arena team. And just to make sure that we end this on a decently high note, I'm going to pull shards until I get a Legendary Champion. So stick with me here. I'm going to go ahead and start off by pulling some Sacred Shards. In fact, let's take Delaja off of this pool here because we don't really need Delaja anymore. Actually, it doesn't even make a make a difference to us because we, we just we don't need any of these other champions. We're way past the point of needing anybody like Rector Draft. Yorg is a good champion, but we don't need him. Okay, here we are. We got a Cupidus. Guys, I'm actually not mad about this. I'm not mad about getting another Cupidus because... Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, because, check this out, guys. Oh, where is it? Where's the, so many different things here. 
token trader, not the token trader. Here we go. Check this out. Wait for it. Wait. Where is Cupidus? No, really, where is Cupidus? No, I want to... Do I have to... Hold up. Take him out. So then I could plus three him. I don't know why they make me do that. Okay, yes. What? Hold on. Wait, what is going on? Oh, I'm unbinding champ. Oh my god, I can't believe I almost did that. I'm trying to empower. Dear god. Okay. I'm not mad about it because guess what? We're taking him to plus three. And I actually use Cupidus in my Hydra team. So we're getting extra HP, defense, attack, and resistance and accuracy. Nothing wrong with that. So let's go ahead and do that. If I wanted to, I could actually take him out. And let's move these guys over here. And I could probably plus four Cupidus. However, I'd be missing out on 10 speed overall. But I would gain five and a bunch of other things like extra crit rate and crit damage. He would be my first plus four champion. Is that something that I want to do? I'm not exactly sure yet. Because if I do that, then I'm going to be missing out on uh, some of these stats. Plus ten or yeah, plus ten speed for well, really just Venus. So when I when I put it that way, I'm like, is it really? Am I, I feel like I'm gaining more by plus fouring him than I am losing it because I'm not using holstering or um, arrow anywhere else. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do that. We're we're doing things, bro. Plus four, my first plus four champion, bro. Today is a win. Today is. A, let me take a screenshot of that. Hold on. Oh, let me make sure he's he's posing correctly. There you go. He kind of had a lean right there. Let me just look at this. That's beautiful. That's that's really nice to see. My first plus four champion. <laughs> Guys. When I first started playing raid, my very my very first legendary champion ever that I pulled was actually Cupidus. Isn't it kind of weird that Cupidus is also my very first plus four champion across both all, all accounts that I've ever had. He's my first plus four champion. He's the first legendary I pulled at level 35 when I first started playing raid, and he is now my first plus four champion. That is beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a look at his total stats right now. Does it show up here? Oh man, that would have been so cool if it shows up. My first plus four champion, dudes. Or, or do that if you're watching. So now I got to rebuild him because he's over crit rate. And yeah, so I'm going to rework him so that he does. So I can re redistribute this uh, extra crit rate um, somewhere else. But we did pull until a legendary champion. However, I feel like I feel like we're not there yet. I feel like we need to keep pulling. Not sure why, but I'm gonna keep the ball rolling here. Let's let's pull a few more. Let's see what we can get. All right, that's one. All right, here's two more. We're way past it. Let's let's go for three. I I feel hot. I feel hot. I feel like there's a nice legendary waiting for us. This is sacred number four. Let's pull until we get closer to Mercy, which is going to be 12. This is five right here. And then I'll stop. And then I'll stop if we get to around 12 and I pull nothing. This is six. Okay. As per usual. And there's our Delaja. Another one. Here, this is seven. Okay. I, I feel like it's coming. This is number eight. Oof. A royal guard. I could actually plus four. Can I plus four him? Hold on. I feel like I've, I've had so many royal guards. Uh, empower my rank. Let's do just epics. 
we can empower him, I think, right? Let's see. Oh, not quite. I I'm, I keep mixing up my uh my accounts here. That's just plus four. Plus one, sorry, what am I saying? Alright, let's keep going. Um this is eight, I think. Sacred number eight. Okay. Aishma. Sacred number nine. Okay, we're getting close. This is ten. Alright, two more. Two more. And by by two more shards, if I don't pull anything, then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cut it. Have a little self-control here. One. Okay, last one. Last one. Last yellow shard that I'm pulling. If this is not a Lego, then we're done. Okay. Yeah. So we're done. Uh, but we didn't pull any voids. So you know me, we have to pull voids now. We're gonna pull ten. Alright. Any tenors here? Carrier. After this, we'll pull. We'll pull three more. I lied. I lied to myself. So sorry, past self. Okay, Amarantine. Amarantine skeleton is one of those champions that I wanted to be really cool. Who is this? Slixus Stripehide. Wait, who is this? All these new champions. Uh, attacks one enemy twice with a chance to place stun. A two hitter ignores shield, increased defense, and strength in buffs. That's interesting. I don't think there's too many moves out there that ignore increased defense and strengthen. Each hit also heals this champion by 20% of the damage inflicted. That's interesting. And before attacking with this A3, this is on a three turn cooldown, it's an AoE, places increased crit rate and crit damage on this champion. So essentially you would build him at 70% crit rate. Start off with his A3. Increases this champion's crit damage every time they kill an enemy, stacks up to 30% will not reset upon death if this champion's blade of finality which is the a2 uh kills an enemy the next skill they use is going to ignore 30 percent damage so there's a lot of ignoring going on here and he looks like he would do a lot of damage i don't really know 100 base speed is okay he doesn't have the boost to crit damage so that's another thing instead he's got res arena battles so yeah definitely definitely an arena nuker let's go ahead and pull one more 10 pop. Let's see if we get anything good. Centurion. I actually need Centurion on my other account in order to get Makage on that account as well. Cage bound. A lot of cage bounds going on. Gala long braids. All right. And there we go. Let's pull three more. You know me, guys. I don't. I don't ever really stop. I, I'm always like, okay, we're gonna end it off here, and then I never stop. I just keep on going. That's just. That's how this burrito rolls. It's how this burrito rolls. It's how this burrito rolls. Comment that down below if you're still with me. It's how the burrito rolls. Let me know you're a real one. It, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't stop. I <laughs> pull three more. All right. Seriously though, after after this one, I will stop. Or will I? Okay. Seriously, one more, one more, and then I really do stop. There you go. All right. I feel. I feel like it's enough to pull another one. Because, you know, you never know. We're at Mercy. We're hot into Mercy. This is 13 right now. This is going to be 14. Look at this. 14 Sacreds. My, I mean, make it an even 10 at this point, right? That's 15. So we're 15 in. And Spider is actually um, a really nice champion. Uh, your mom said that last night.